Well, coming up, I will reveal my project car. A lot of bird sound. And I walk like an idiot. Alright, what's up guys? In this video, I'm very glad that I finally found my project car and in this video, it's only about revealing my project car. But before I reveal it, reveal it to you all, all of you guys, I want to tell you that the journey wasn't easy. I spent a lot of money on traveling. I went to Singapore I went to Penang, I went to Shah Alam and also I went to Johor. And finally, the car is from Johor and I did take him back. And now, I want to show it to you guys. This is it. This is my new project car. So let me give you a bit of a montage. Okay, you know what guys, I want to share to you guys why I choose this car as my project car. The first is because I never repaired any Mercedes-Benz before in, in my life. So that's why I choose this car as my project car. That's the first reason. And the second reason is that people often say that European cars are expensive to maintain. And that's why I want to find out. And Hence my um, channel that I want to create is that I want to break down is how, how much is it to maintain and to repair a Mercedes-Benz or European car and that's why I want to teach you guys also repairing and I want to make cost breakdown so without further ado I want to show my car okay as you can see this is my car and the model of this Mercedes-Benz is W210 and from what I got is that W210 E200 which means it has 2, two liter 4 cylinder straight in line and a 5 speed transmission gearbox automatic it was it manual I couldn't find manual but you know what automatic is fine but I mostly prefer uh, manual as you can see here I got some paint I got rubber that are de degraded and some I don't know if you can see it but my windshield crack that's three spot crack well that is the future video in my project and we get this old classic I mean ne I never see this kind of uh, spot rim uh, especially on this time well that's what I like about this car it's really a classic I mean look at that headlamp it's big and it's round. I mean, usually nowadays it's mostly uh, square and have LED light and so on. But this, but back then, when this car is first came out, I mean, this was the first redesign and it was elegant. It was so so uh, stylish back then. But now <laughs> it's outdated. But come on. It's a 25 years old, 25 year, year old car. What do you expect? But to me, it looks very, very classy, very, very classic. Whew. And you know what? I want to share. I want to show to all of you guys the interior. But before that, let me show you the trunk. Whew. So many Mercedes-Benz logo. Not gonna lie. 
look how big is the trunk I think I can fit three people inside here <laughs> come on let me show you the interior you got this leather and wood trim panel I mean honestly I love it it's leather it's, it doesn't wrap with plastic I mean it's so luxurious to me and you got this massive massive uh, leather seat and honestly even though it's old but when I drive this car it's very comfortable it support my knee here it support my back here and for my experience that i i driven this car if you really really oftenly drive in long distance when you sit in this seat you you're not gonna feel very tired that's my experience and let me show you the glove box ah oh looks like i got this Honest manual. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is for to remove the head unit. I mean, this is so the original head unit. <laughs> Back then, they still use cassette. I don't know if you know cassette. I mean, nowadays cassette wasn't really <laughs> doesn't sell sell anywhere anymore. Well, look at this service booklet. Honest manual. Oh, if I want to talk about all of this, it's gonna be a very very long video. So you know what? Let's move on. And you got this cup holder here. Yeah, you don't have in the middle of the console, but you have it here. Let's put it back. The honest manual. And. Look at this. This. Whoo! You have this. A vanity mirror, if I'm not mistaken. This, and you have light. I mean, that's very luxurious. And you got this. Oh, still leather dashboard and wooden trim. Yeah. And the gear knob have four, five speed. This is for your trunk. So if you want to pull over your trunk, see, you have this red light. Yes, your trunk open. You have this two storage compartment, and this is for your cigarette. Oh, let's help out to the driver's side. Let's go. Oh, God, you're so comfortable. I mean, look at this huge steering wheel. It's wooden leather steering wheel. You got this cruise control. So, if you are a long drive, you don't need to press on your pad, uh, fuel pedal. You can just adjust it with this. You got signal indicator here and if you want to uh, turn on the light it, you push this way Ooh. and of course you have storage unit also here you can store a lot lot of lot of item here and also have air vents here how cool is that I want to show to you guys uh, if you can see right in the back you have these two headrests uh, if you walk if you don't have any passenger and you really want to uh, put down these two headrests you just need to push this button ah. you know what you need to turn on the 
switch first. This thing on the car. They give it. Yeah. So now, let's do this. Whew, look at that. Now I have more more vision, more vision to see at the back. And also you have this unlock and lock button. It's pretty usual. And let's go to the back. I mean, I don't want, I don't know how to say it to you guys, but the back was so spacious. I mean, look at this. Let us see it. Look how how much room I have not gonna lie I'm very very satisfied with this purchase I will call my project car as project Germany because Mercedes, Mercedes from Germany so why not <laughs> okay I think that's it for my project car reveal video if you guys ever wonder how much I bought this car drop down a comments and if i got 10 comments i will reveal the total cost of how much i bought this car in my tiktok account so stay tuned and if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing if you have anything that you want to share with me or anything you can just email me and don't forget to subscribe and comments well ciao and thank you guys for watching